Sewage and Water Board of New Orleans is confident with Turbine 5 back online. They have enough power to run pumps at peak capacity. As Chris Welty reports, residents are still anxious, though. Equipment will not work. Nearly two weeks after flooding when Sewage and Water Board equipment went down during heavy rain, Julie Chandler's Broadmoor apartment is getting repaired. It's very frustrating to wake up and step into water. I didn't even know it had you know, rain that much. The baseboards are ripped out of her home and everything is being wiped down. Now, a pump is being installed. Uh, the sump pump, it goes in the ground below the ground. It's about a three foot uh, round plastic tube. It's got a cast iron pump, uh, 120 volts. It's got a float that when it gets any water, it automatically turns on and discharges the water out about three feet past the house, out back out into the street. Many residents are anxious anytime rain is in the forecast. The Sewage and Water Board says Turbine 5 is repaired and has the capacity to handle one inch of rainfall in the first hour of use and then half an inch per hour after that. Today we have 17 and a half more megawatts than we did yesterday. So that's a better place. And even if we experience any issues during that event, we're starting with a higher number, obviously, is relatively better than starting with the lesser numbers. The Sewage and Water Board wants residents to remain weather aware. Although they are confident in their equipment, they know it can fail at any moment. We've been very transparent about the fragility of our system as we it stands today, which obviously speaks to the need for our continued uh, progress uh, of having the power complex be completed as soon as possible. Residents like Tony Lee, who had to purchase a new car after the flood, have faltered confidence in the repaired equipment. I guess staying in this city is already a gamble anyways. <laughs> and they've said that before. They've said that they've done repairs and that they've, you know, changed out things. You know, we can be hopeful, but yeah, as far as having much faith in it, I don't. The Sewage and Water Board has also launched a dashboard to show the status of pumping stations. A green dot indicates if a pump is working. Right now, 93 of 99 pumps are online. Many of them will appreciate that because they can relate, you know, level of water uh, in their streets to what, what's operation. So hopefully they have a better sense of uh, that we are doing everything we can. And if there are some water in, in the street, that's not because we're not running pumps, it's not because we don't have power, it's because the intensity of the rain is overwhelming the system. In New Orleans, Chris Walty, Fox 8, Local First.